For my folks, this is a brief problem overview of the neat ROM for Samsung Galaxy S3. This is a ROM based on the leaked Samsung TouchWiz page 4.2.1. What are the first of, of the kind? See, here you go. There's a brief description of the developer's page. As you can see, uh, it's based on the. It was launched two days ago. It is based on the uh, JB leak 4.2.1. This is how Samsung is going to launch the S3, uh, Android 4.2.1 for the S3. Okay, and um, this is the lock screen for JB. So you can see you still have the ripple effect, but it's changed a bit. It looks more subtle, unlike before the animation is way more stronger. Uh, you swipe to the right, you get the look to you get the lock screen widgets. Click on it, and you get a number of widget options. Install uh, in, install externally. You go. You can swipe up. You get the same ripple effect. If you swipe to the right, swipe to the left, you get the camera option. Or you can see the icon over here. Okay, you swipe. You go to the home screen. Over here, you get the same touch with base time. You can launch um, uh, five to seven screens of your own. If you pull down the notification, there's a change over here too. Uh, this is non scrollable like before. It's now static. The 5 are static. You get the same slider. Slider didn't change a bit. You get this um, normal slider and then you can increase it by up to plus 5 than usual. Or you can even go to minus 5. Uh, when you click on this icon, you get all the notification toggles. It's same like the two finger pull down gesture, you get all these toggles separately. Like I said, it's not scrollable. You pull down your two finger, you go to the next screen. That's one of the changes. This uh, and the other changes, let's see, you get all these apps pre installed. A lot of bloatware you get pre installed. Chat on the hub. Samsung Music, Samsung Apps. Like I said, it's a, a pretty decent ROM. It's around 728 MB big. Uh, if you go to the settings, you can notice some few changes, very few changes. But about device, there you go, Android 4.2.1. Jelly Bean. Uh, this is one thing new, it's called voice commands. You can comment on uh, many things in this phone number voice. Starting from the incoming call, you can answer. The widget where you're saying answer and reject. You can stop the alarm. Use the camera before you switch the keys. You get a photograph. Now you can say smile, capture, and shoot. In music, you can uh, go to next, previous, pause, play down, play uh, volume, and radio. Also, you can control. So, one change. Um, the motion gestures are still the same. You you can add all these motion gestures as you want. Uh, you get a new option called Samsung Cloud. Samsung Cloud in the lock screen. If you go, you can add a ripple effect. You can wake up lock screen by saying Hi Galaxy or whatever you want. Then. You go to the widgets and lock screen, you can add a clock and dual clock. Mm, another change is you go to the display mode. Uh, you get an option called daydreams, which is based on 4.2.1. Smart rotation is there, smart say is still there. Nothing much changes here. <coughs> they don't add a whole lot of changes, but it's just touch with base. Go back. Let's see. The, one of the major a few things bugs in this ROM is that it sometimes gets a little slow because it's just a first release. Otherwise, it's a pretty stable ROM. You get these features in the camera, no changes at all in the camera. There's a hint of lag in this. You can see cheese. It takes a photograph, smile, capture, and shoot. Okay. See, I didn't say anything. It still shooted. Capture. 
just to gimmicky you get chrome as built in you get a number of things built in i can show you uninstall that okay you get the video player voice recorder youtube as well as samsung apps google talk play store paper artist messaging maps music player flipboard fm radio games hub all a, Jew, a Jewish calendar, I know for what. All this you get as free installed. Yep, two finger swipe works. One finger swipe to expand notifications. You can do with the two finger swipe. Okay, I cancel it. Okay, that's just about it. Uh, this is a brief overview of the Android 4.2.1 leak based Neutron. I subscribe to the developer for porting it so soon. Till then, I will tell everyone to give it a shot. You'll really like it. It's stable ROM, very very stable ROM. Only thing, it might get a little bit of lag, but still, you can live with it. Anyhow, have a nice day, everyone. Bye bye.